Sailors from Naval Airborne Weapons Maintenance Unit, the Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron, and visiting shipmates from carrier USS Ronald Reagan came together to serve the community by donating time and labor toward a beautification project in the village of Agate. Well, the project we have going on today, we're chipping paint and laying paint down at the mayor's office. And down at Nimitz Beach, all of our guys are bringing trash and debris from the beaches onto the road so we can get that all taken away, clean up the beach and take care of the community. With nearly 6,000 residents living in Agate, a few hundred of them military, and an extremely limited staff to conduct daily maintenance, the mayor's office welcomes any and all opportunities to partner with Guam service members and improve the beautiful island we all call home. There's five maintenance, and I'm the only maintenance girl. We've got to take care of this whole village. The gathering marks one of 10 community service events taken place in the village of Agate since 2017. Previous projects included building a float that was featured in the Liberation Day Parade, volunteering at the annual Mango Festival, and cleaning up trash alongside Route 2. It's very important that we actually associate ourselves with the local culture in a sense as well. They've lived here for centuries and centuries, and they've had uh, explorers come and go, and they've had nations come and go, and right now America. This is an integral part in military strategy, this location here in Guam, and we just want to conform and form a union here at the 671 with the local Chamorros. Military personnel stationed here are typically assigned to Guam for a minimum of two years. This particular group of volunteers plans to make that time count and continue to make a positive impact in their community throughout the rest of their time here. I'm reaching out to the Air Force Base. We want those guys to get involved too. That'll be beautiful. So we can reach out to not just this village, but multiple villages around the island. After a morning of hard work, the day concluded with music and a Chamorro-style barbecue by the water. The luncheon was hosted by Agate Mayor Kevin Susuiko, who cooked all the food himself in appreciation for the sailors' dedication to our local community. I'm filled with gratitude. It's, it's overwhelming because uh, the stress, the work stress that we have has, been, has taken its toll with our staff. You know, and I'm pretty sure they're appreciative of it. And uh, we welcome it anytime. If you want to do it all week, you're welcome to do it all week. <laughs> Reporting for U.S. Naval Base Guam, I'm Jeanette Bocanegra.